Hey guys. Oh my god, I miss you guys so much. I know I haven't been on semi-recently, but this moment that I'm about to share with all of you is a moment that I would not want to share with anybody else except for you guys. And it is my first 10 pan Pat McGrath mothership eyeshadow palette and I'm going to show you which one it is. It is the beautiful on Seduction Pat McGrath palette. Look how stunning this palette is. Like pictures don't do this palette nearly, nearly as much justice. Like I've seen pictures of it on one, plenty of videos, pictures, everything, but in person? Not that I, not that I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't see one in person first, but I cannot. It is so breathtaking. When I first opened it yesterday, when I got it in the mail, I almost wanted to cry. So, it's going to be a part one and a part two for this beautiful palette. Part two is going to be a swatch, because I know it's supposed to be the other way around, or typically it's the other way around. But I have a 22-month-old son who is sleeping. It will be a semi-shortly, so I really want to get into the eye look. But I will read to you guys the names of the shades that I can find these paper that comes with it. Okay, so here we have Skin Show Divine Glow. Sorry guys, I know the light isn't that great. Under here we have Extreme extreme aubergine here this we have entrapment on the top oops here under that we have guilty pleasure here we have bronze blaze disobedient rose gold zero zero five with flame which is amazing they're all they're all amazing we have and here we have br file fire opal and astral luna gold so i actually got this palette off ebay brand new in the box for 80 dollars and change and it was i need this and i need it now so I'm going to prime my eyes with my trusty Fenty Beauty Primer. And if I have to pause this video at any time, either it means that my son woke up or that I went to, went to grab something from my bathroom that I needed that I forgot to bring like a brush or something. But we're going to prime the lid. This primer is so gripping, you guys, and it works very, very well. I love this primer. It's probably my favorite. This and my MAC Paint Palette is also one of my favorites, but I have to say, although MAC was the very first makeup brand I ever fell in love with um, as a teenager, um, which was when I was in high school. <laughs> I just want to get a little bit of a, I always put a little bit of primer like right here, so that when I do like a wing or a cat eye, which is what I'm planning on doing, I have a little extra primer here. Okay, so that's all I'm going to take one of my Morphe 2 brushes that I use to blend out my eyeshadow primer. How is everyone doing this morning? I missed you guys. I really did. If you guys have this palette, I want you guys to drop a comment below letting me know your experience with it. Whether it, it would be, whether, whether it's a positive experience or a not so positive experience. I want you guys to let me know what your experience is regardless. 
because I love knowing the truth. I love, you know, the truth may not always be what the thing is that, you know, you think you're going to hear, that you want to hear, but at least it's the truth, you know? So, let me know what your experience has been with this palette, if you have it, if you are planning on buying it, and all that good stuff. Let's make sure I blended out everything. I did it. Okay. Clean out the brush a little bit. My little brush cleaner that I keep on my lap. <laughs> Just in case. Because I don't like to like leave I mean my natural hair brushes I wash. I say to wash them no more than once or twice a month. So I try I try to do that, but I do use a microfiber clip by Sonia G to keep my refer brushes and my Sonia G's and my Wayne glasses nice and clean and, and it works beautifully actually. So we're gonna put this brush away. So put it up. I am going to grab if it looks like if my arm is going like this guys it's because my brush holder that I keep all my brushes in is what's holding up my cell phone right now. So if you see my phone go flying that's why. going to use, sorry I'm looking for a million and one brushes right now, <laughs> this is my, this is my Sonya G Builder Pro, we're going to start with this brush today, and we're going to go in with so many choices, oh my goodness, we're going to start with this shade right here. as my transition color. I have been told that the mattes in here are a little dry. But you know, I don't like to, I don't believe people's, you know, they don't seem dry at all. You know, so I don't believe, I don't like to try, try not to let any YouTube content creators, you know, Possibly, you know, what what would be a word? Um, have power over me deciding whether I'm going to get a palette or not. Because everybody has their own experience with, you know, you, you, even if it's the same palette, they have their own. Everyone has their own unique experience. This brush works very well. You can feel the primer gripping onto this. This is a really nice shade, actually. So, I am, I have been waiting <laughs> since I ordered this, or even prior to ordering this palette, I've been super, super excited. And I could not wait for it to come in the mail. I'm just trying to Maybe I need a different brush? That's a beautiful shade right there. Very beautiful shade. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, and then we're going to take my Sonya G blending brush, and we're gonna blend it out a little bit. So we kind of like buff it out, soften any sharp lines, like, but you know what? 
this particular shade, although it is very, very beautiful and a beautiful transition shade to start with, I do see now what some YouTubers YouTubers meant when they said it's a little dry, but I still love it either way. I'm just going to fix if we're going to do such a fun look today guys I'm so excited I know this is taking like a bit to just blend out but Okay. Alright, so this one is a little dry. Okay. But I'm still gonna I'm still enjoying it either way. I'm just trying to I might need to switch brushes in a minute. And I need to open my front door because I'm sweating to death right now. So give me one second. Let me just move this table over for a second. Put my brush down. There we go, guys. Now we have some fresh air. Okay, let me grab my Sonia G Blender brush. This is my Blender Pro. I'm going to dip back into that shade, but I'm going to soften any harsh lines or edges that we don't want. There we go. See how beautiful this brush is amazing. My three top favorite brush brands, I have to say. And I, I like to share little fun facts about myself with you guys. Are my Ruffers, my Sewing Edges, and my Wing Glasses. Those are my top three. I'm just going to kind of blend it out a little bit this way so that... Beautiful. This this brush blends so beautifully. I just love it. These um this is the this brush is part of the Swingage Pro Eyes brush set, and it was worth every penny. For five brushes, it um came to about one fifty. I would say. I think that was what it was. And you know how they say once you have one more Pat McGrath mothership, you do want like them all of them. I do want more of them, but not every single one. The next one I'm gonna get is the Decadence one. Once it's back in stock on the Pat McGrath website. If not, I will get it on eBay. Probably for a little bit cheaper too, as long as it's um. That, that's where I've been finding a lot of palettes that I've been looking for for a while now. Whether the case is that they've been out of stock or whatever it is. That looks beautiful, right? Beautiful. Beautiful. Now we're gonna put this brush down. I wanna take another shade. I want to I'm trying to decide if I wanna use that red blitz blitz red flame. Oh my god. Red blitz. Sorry about the noise guys. Like my my street is literally right outside my door. I wanna use The darker brow that's right here. This one. 
So I'm gonna pick up one of my ruffers. I'm just gonna go see which one I'm grabbing. Um, I'm gonna put that in my crease. Sorry guys, I'm trying to find my brush. Proper brush. Mm -hmm. This brush, this is my refer number 14. It is a tiny but mighty blending brush. So I'm gonna go in with a dark shade. Then go into the corners like this. And I'm gonna tr start making that outer V. I just want to take a minute to say how much I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I really do. And you guys mean a lot to me. And I know it's the little things in life that mean so much. And it really is true. Because, like, being, hopping on, you know, camera and hanging out with you guys, doing makeup with you guys just really means a lot to me. I love this shade, it's beautiful. Gonna add a little more so I can bring out. There we go. Beautiful. Now I know why these palettes are so expensive. They're just amazing. They're just like a beautiful piece of art. Makeup makes me so so happy. I love makeup, especially luxury makeup. That's where it's at. Just gonna bring it in a little bit. Yeah, like that. This video isn't going to be super, super long today. I know it looks like it's a long video already, but it's actually not compared to all my other videos. tomorrow I am so excited because tomorrow is the day that the Star Wars um, collection is being released on the Pat McGrath website and I am so looking forward to ordering one of the mini Star Wars palettes is going to be the Sith Seduction, which is the Darth Vader one, and possibly, def uh, possibly one of the lip glosses too, or the liquid lipsticks, and one of the, um, like, individual, um, what do you call it? It's like a super concentrated eyeshadow in like a paint pot type of hard to explain. I forget the exact name of them, but they're beautiful and they come in, I think, about four or five different shapes. I could be wrong.
Well, the cat is coming out beautifully. And I love that there's absolutely no fallout. None. I just gotta fix it like I did the other eye. I love how this is coming out, you guys. This is my first, first, very first look doing this palette. And as I said before, I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else the way you guys. And I originally wasn't planning on doing a video today. I was going to do a look and then do the same look tomorrow and then do a video tomorrow. But I'm not going to lie. I had some fun. So I decided to use that time. to spend it with you guys. What do you guys doing for the holidays? Do you guys have any specific plans? Did you guys start you finish your holiday shopping yet? I mine is almost finished. I'm almost there. It's got to darken that up a little bit. It's got to make sure it lines up with the shade. And then we're going to add some litziness to this look. I love how this eye came out so far. I just wish that this eye was a little more. I think it's because of the highlighter that I have on, but that's what's causing it not to be as. Plus, this is my first time using this palette, so I'm still trying to get familiar with everything. Okay, now we're gonna be done with this brush, so I'm gonna clean off this little brush. And again, that was my buffer number 14, my little tiny but my crease brush. Now comes the fun part, guys. I'm, I'm trying to decide which blitz shade I want to use. They're all beautiful. They really are. They're so beautiful.
but I don't have much time, so I gotta kind of hurry up. But I think for the most part, I'm gonna be using my fingers for that for the next few parts. So I think what I want to use on top of this look is going to be not the rose gold 005 yet. I'm gonna use that one maybe tomorrow. I want to use this one right here. I know, I know that my lighting isn't exactly the best, but this color is screaming on me. And then tomorrow I'm going to use that one. Oh, let's test this if I can. It's like a moment of truth for me right now. I'm so excited. I'm going to place it right in the center. Wow. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. And I didn't even pick up that much on my hand. But my finger. Now I know why these pals are so expensive. They're worth it. I like that a lot. That is beautiful. I'm going to add a little bit more. And I have this little scar here because a few days ago I tripped and I fell and I hit my head on the table and I'm on my kitchen table. Didn't feel that great, but I'm alive. I'm still kicking and still doing makeup, so I'm gonna take a little bit and run it underneath. I did the next eye. Same way I did this eye. And uh, some people say, like, in order to get it to be this blitzy, like, blitzy, right? This potent, these special shades, these four special beautiful shades, is to either spray your brush with water or setting spray or whatever you feel works best for you but usually just my finger works best for me and in about a minute I'm going to pause this video just so I can put on my lashes and my liner and then I'm going to hop right back on camera just trying to get like under here a little bit. That's so sick. It's easier. Okay, I'm going to do the same over here. Look up and kind of get it in the corners.
All right, guys. I'm gonna pause this video. I'm gonna put on some liner, some lashes, some mascara, and lipstick. And I can't wait to hit that pause button. No, well, play button rather, and hop back on camera. I'll be back in a few, guys. I love you so so much. I really do. Be right back. Guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. So I have on my one of my favorite types of lashes. It's one of the lashes by Kiss. It's called Bombshell. I absolutely love these lashes. I'm so happy with how today's makeup application came out. How my eye look came out. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing another video about um, um, for my second look. And I'm super excited because it's going to be probably my Christmas look. For Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So, I'm looking very much forward to tomorrow. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I sure did. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And I would absolutely love to have you join my little squad, <laughs> my little beauty squad. Um, I love you all so, so much, and I hope you all have a blessed and happy day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Thank you for watching.